Hello, Where We Are listeners. If you're a longtime fan of this podcast or you're just joining us for the first time today, we want to tell you more about our podcast platform called Spotify for Podcasters. We've been using this platform for over a year and it's been easy to use and new features are added all the time. You can record and edit podcasts from your phone or computer. You don't need anything fancy and you don't need previous podcast experience. When you hit publish, you will distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify if that's your kind of thing. And with Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. But here's the thing. You can earn money, but it's a free platform. There's no catch. If you're curious or want to see what it's all about, download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. This is Michael Weir. You're listening to The Morning Five on October 24th, 2022. Let's begin with a reading from Scripture. Today we'll read from John's Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, it's good to be back with you. You're listening to The Morning Five, brought to you by the That Sounds Fun Network. And uh, we're here for another week. Midterms are just over two weeks out and that's where, we're, that's where we'll start our news uh, today. Uh, you may have caught uh, Melissa's prediction in the last episode of, of Where We Are that uh, Republicans would win both the House and Senate. And Dios puts out an email uh, yesterday that suggests... I mean, it's exactly what Melissa said. You know, a Republican uh, win with more than 20 House seats, uh, which uh, it, that, 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 that is now within, within reason, as well as Republicans picking up the, the one seat they would need to, uh, to win the Senate. And so... You know, there's still enough time in this race for Democrats, as President Biden suggested, that momentum will swing back to the Democrats in time for Election Day. But, uh, but things l- look different now for Republicans than they did uh, a month, six weeks ago. The second item, contrary to what we discussed on where we are over the weekend, Boris Johnson announced yesterday that he will not uh, be up f- to lead the Tories again, which opens up the pathway for uh, Rishi Sunak, uh, who served in Boris Johnson's cabinet, was the runner-up to Liz Truss in the last party uh, uh, process to determine who would be the pr- prime minister. Uh, many of the critiques that Sunak made of Liz Truss proved to be her downfall. And so right now, it looks like Sunak will uh, be be the next prime minister. Uh, there will be a party process to determine that. But with Boris out of the running, uh, uh, Sunak's in a, in a very strong, very strong position. Finally... Speaking of political leaders in strong positions, uh, Xi Jinping, uh, China's leader, is entering his third term uh, following the uh, Communist Party Congress. Uh, 
so 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 basically the the uh, akin kind of to a, a convention uh, a democratic or republican party convention here only uh when jinping uh emerges out of that congress uh, he's the leader for the next five years <laughs> um, <laughs> sort of immediately and the new york times and uh, reuters among other outlets are observing the incredible consolidation of power that Jinping takes with him into this third term, a inner circle of uh, of uh, political leaders that Z himself cultivated. You know, so many times. Uh, in cabinets, you need to appease various sort of um, sectors of your party or even of the country, the, uh, the country's sort of political uh, segments, wings uh, as a whole. Jinping has an inner circle that is uh, entirely loyalist and will be taking that political power with him into uh, again, into this third term in which uh, many expect continued, if not increasing, confrontations uh, with the West. All right, that's your Morning Five for today. Let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, May your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, friends, hope you have a good start to your week. Thanks for listening.